What's up YouTube? This is Jeff again and I'm back for another video. This is crazy. Four in a row now? I feel like I'm just going back to daily videos, aren't I? But as I see it, these are a lot easier than those vlogs because you know I can make you know a couple minute video like this and it's not gonna take me all day. You know, I, I still have the same amount of time that the video is. You know, it's gonna be a probably five to ten minute video being a vlog or five to ten minute video being a conversation piece but the five to 10 minute video vlog takes me all day. So, you know, this seems to be a little bit less and then, you know, it's not as much editing on these because, you know, it's one take and I'm, you know, done then. I'm not, you know, piecing together, you know, different things. So I like the style these videos are going. You know, if I, if I have anything exciting that happens during the day, I might actually do a full day vlog randomly, but if it's just, you know, a normal day, like, like today's day off, you know, I did grocery shopping. So how many times do you guys really want to see that? So the next story for this lovely Friday is we're going to go back to sophomore year of high school. That was a long time ago. What? 14 years ago now? Jeez or 13 years ago when I was 15 so my one friend had a Wayne's World type car hatchback that we named the toaster because that thing was just I don't I'm pretty sure a toaster had more horsepower than this thing but so anyway but my good old friend let's see here changing names, we'll call him Bob. Bob sounds like a good name for him. Stoner Bob. Let's go with that. So, <laughs> I doubt he's even going to watch this because I haven't talked to that kid in, I think since junior year, so a year after this happened because he ended up dropping out of high school and yeah, definitely talk to him again. So anyway, so he had, like I said, he had this car and he was kind of like Billy where he wanted to do burnouts. He wanted to do donuts. He wanted to, you know, jump his car, jump his car, like over, like, you know, like when you come up to some roads where there'll be like a hill on this side, hill on this side, and then there's an intersection. He wants to try to clear that intersection in a, you know, Wayne's World car. <laughs> So he, uh, on a side note, he uh, burned out in front of my house one time and he dropped his transmission and he ended up having to put a new transmission in because it ended up not going in reverse anymore. And I believe it was only like that lower gear would actually go and drive. <laughs> drive would just be in neutral. So yeah, he, he really screwed that car up. It had like 30,000 miles on it and he dropped the transmission on it because like I think his grandmother owned it and it was just a grocery getter for like 15 years because it was like an 88 or 87 car it had like no miles on it <laughs> and like this was 2002 so whatever that math is 14 years let's go with that so a 14 year old car has like 25 30,000 miles on it. so anyway I'm pretty sure this was when he got his new transmission. He still was an idiot and thought, you know, well, I got a new transmission, so I can just destroy this one too. <laughs> so we were in a town that was probably like 10 miles from where I grew up. And there was one of these wonderful intersections that was like really crazy. Like it came up like, you know, probably like that. And then it was a straight road and then, you know, so he wanted to clear this thing and he wanted on videotape and all that because, you know, back in then that was during the, you know, Bam Margera days and everyone wants to do, you know, CKY or Jackass stuff. So I was like, I had a, like a Sony Handycam or something stupid like that. And so I was like, yeah, I'll videotape that. Why not? So I get out and he, you know, <laughs> clears this thing and, you know, ends up bottoming out on the other side and, you know, you know, sparks flew and everything. 
And so he ends up pulling over into like a gas station. There was like three gas stations on this corner for some reason, because you need that many. So we're sitting there and I don't know, I went inside, got some food, drink, whatnot. And I come back out and there's like 10 cop cars surrounded around this intersection. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder what that's for. <laughs> so uh, the cops end up like interviewing like everyone around there. And so they came up to us and they started talking to us. And uh, he's like, oh, did you see, you know, what happened? I was like, yeah, this guy, he like took off, you know, he went over this thing and, you know, he you know, had all this air, you know, made like a whole six inches of air. He was like, oh, yeah, awesome, whatever. And so we're talking to the cop for a good like 20 minutes. And he's like, well, can you describe the car? And so I'm like, well, it kind of looks like, you know, the my friend's car over here. It's it's pretty much identical to that. And the cop's like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and so he takes all our statements and everything. And, uh, like, no one around there, like, put two and two together that we were, that my friend was the idiot that did this. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I was 15 at the time. I really didn't care. And, uh, I just thought it was amusing that no one... No one put two and two together that, you know, this, this piece of crap car that is like one of a kind now because they all, all the other ones like died like 10 years ago before this. But, um, yeah, no one, no one ended up putting anything together and we ended up leaving and, uh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I don't condone lying to cops. I would never do that today. Yeah. So. <laughs> but like I said, I was 15 and I was a stupid idiot teenage punk that I guess didn't care. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, my friend's an idiot. <laughs> I said don't condone lying to cops don't lie to cops kids and um so well i'm i'm just starting to give all these valuable life lessons don't be idiots to border patrol don't lie to cops and you should be good and uh yeah so if you enjoy these kind of videos give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe down below if you haven't already you know i'm up to 11 subscribers now see if we can hit up to 20. let's go to 20. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying let's stop at 20. Let's go to, like, 20,000. I'm serious. I'm serious with you guys. So I'll check back with you guys probably tomorrow because, you know, might as well just keep going with these, you know. I'm sure Christmas probably might derail this a little bit, but hopefully I'll make enough in advance that I can just push through the Christmas time. Or maybe I can just do them when I... because I'm going back home to my parents' place for Christmas. Maybe I can, you know, set up a camera somewhere and randomly have another conversation with you guys. So I'll check back with you guys probably tomorrow. See you.